We continue the discussion in 15.4 uh, about the uh, recurrence formula. Last time we derived the first one, the derivations are based on the generating function. So last time, uh, this is a generating function. Last time I forgot this factor, but that doesn't change the derivation because the last de recurrence formula in the derivation, this factor actually cancel out from both sides of the equation, so that doesn't matter. So last time uh, we derived the uh, uh, formula 15.88. Let's just uh, copy it here first. So 15.88. So it's uh, QL plus 1 PLM equals to L plus M times PL minus 1 M plus L minus M plus 1 E L plus one M. This is what we got last term, and everyone depends on the function x. So we'll just ignore that. There's actually there's a function. There's x factor here times x. Okay. So uh, now we will divide the second one. The in this one, this factor will be important. So we'll follow your textbook using the uh, consideration if we multiply this factor again, 1 minus 2xt plus t squared. We multiply this with g m plus g sub m plus 1. So not g sub m, but the m, the m plus 1. one. So we multiply this. Uh, so this will be for the g sub m plus, plus 1, this will be m plus 1, but you multiply by the same factor, so it basically cancel that factor, and that becomes uh, minus 1 m plus 1. So for m plus 1, this becomes 2 m plus 1 plus 1 double factorial and divide by same same factor because we cancel that m plus one half okay so now this one we can uh, use this one and identify that uh, this is proportional to g sub m so tm plus 1 double factorial becomes 2m plus 1 times 2m minus 1 double factorial. So, um, so this means that this becomes, there's an extra minus sign, so minus 2m plus 1 times g sub m. Okay, so, and we'll use uh, the same definition and put it in here and there. Okay, so, so you consider the uh, right hand side first using this and substitute in the here. So this equals to sum over S, the first one. This is p squared p. Now it's this is g sub m plus one, so this becomes m plus one, s plus m plus one, m plus one, and then t to the s. So for the first one is this one. For the second one, you have minus two x times summing over the same thing, except that. Now you have extra t factor here, so this is s plus 1. And now the final term is the same thing, but you have a t square here. 
So sum over s equals to c to infinity p s plus m plus one m t to the s plus two. Okay. Now this equals to the right hand side. We are putting in the same thing. So minus two m plus one sum of s zero to infinity p. Now this is just m. So s plus m m t to the s. Okay. So this is that one. Now all this. Uh, this is the same. To this one, but this two we need to sweep the summation uh, just like what we did last time. So, and after we sweep it, uh, this is this is the same thing, just copy it. Uh, all this, uh, all this will be m plus one because uh, compare this with that. Okay, so this is t to the s minus 2x. Now after you shift it, the first one will be s equals to 1 to infinity s plus m, m plus 1, t to the s plus s from 2 to infinity. This is how uh, become s minus one, s plus m minus one, m plus one t to the s. Now this equals the same thing. This equals this this one. Okay. So now, uh, like last time, we won't consider the boundary terms. The boundary term you just need to be a little extra care when you apply the recurrence formula, but. Uh, just for general term, so all this, this, and this, and this add up to be this one for the same t sub s power. So this implied, this one. And now we can do the same thing like last time. We call s plus m l. So this is l plus 1, m plus 1, minus 2x. With PL m plus one plus sum. Now oh, there's no sum now. Just just with P L minus one m plus one. Okay, that equals to minus two m plus one L. Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, the um, before you get to the associate Legenda function. This is associate Legenda point Legenda polynomial. This is this is that. So, and now in order to get to the associate Legenda polynomial, you use that. So you multiply by one minus x square. To the fact to the power m over two, but uh, because this the right hand side is m plus one, the left hand side is just m, so you multiply one minus x squared to the m plus one over two power here, uh, on and then on the same side, so you have an extra uh, one minus x squared to the power one half in the right hand right hand side. Okay, so we change that. So this becomes capital P L plus one M plus one minus two X capital P L M plus one plus P L minus one M plus one equals to minus two M plus one capital P times one this factor one minus X square one half P L M. Okay, 
So this is uh, changing to uh, uh, so say the gender function. This is not exactly the one that we want. Uh, Fifteen point eighty nine is not exactly that form. Uh, we have something similar. One minus x square to the square power in PLM. We have that, but uh, otherwise it's not the same. And that's although this is correct, but uh, in order to get that form, you use this one again, you use this one again, basically you have uh, this one, you have x, p, l, p, l, m, okay, and so you use, use this one into this x, p, l, m plus one, so, and then uh, change it to involve this to accept that now you apply to m plus one okay so uh, so you can try to do that um, and combine all the terms so uh, basically xp this one xpl uh, involve this one and that one so and this equals to this one. Let's just copy it and then minus two multiply two and then divide it by two L plus one. And that will be this one and plus that one. So you have L plus M. m plus 1 because um, now you, you have applied to m plus 1 so m plus 1 pl l minus 1 l minus 1 m plus 1 plus now this m becomes m plus 1 so you minus m minus 1 and plus 1 so becomes l minus m l minus m P L plus one M and then plus this one P L minus one. This is M plus one M plus one. Okay. So now you have uh, the same term, so the P L plus one M plus one. P L plus one M plus one. So you combine these two terms and when you combine it you just multiply by the common denominator two L plus one. Okay, and you can multiply two L plus one on to the other side. Okay, and then combine everything. You have two L plus one here. Okay, and then you have uh, two times L minus m minus 2 times l minus m plus 2 l plus 1 okay and then that will be uh, you see that combining everything you have a 2 m plus 1 factor that cancel with this one okay so combining this equals to that you finally you get the um, factor that equation in your textbook so Combine everything, so you have uh, 2L plus 1 times this factor, 1 minus x squared, square root PLM. And that, will, after you combine it, the, the two factor becomes simple, becomes PL minus 1 m plus 1 minus p l plus 1 m plus 1 okay so after you simplify this and then cancel with this factor multiply 2 l plus 1 to, to the other side what is left is this 2 so this is equation 15.89 okay and uh, then uh, after you have 
this one. So 15.88, this is 15.89. Okay, then uh, the rest, some of these other e equations are not independent. So um, you can use 15.88 and 15.89, combine them and derive 50.87. So this, this and that becomes 15.87 okay and then uh, again using 15.87 and this one you can divide the uh, next one 50.90 okay so some of these recurrence formula listed uh, in the 50.87 to 15.90 they are not independent yeah, some of them are dependent, just uh, choosing different form for you to use. Okay, and this derivation is uh, one of the homework problem. And this, this from this to this is actually quite straightforward. You can uh, figure that out quite easily. And so we we'll have one last one to derive, which is 50 uh, 91 and 92. Okay, so we'll. Uh, do that next time.